For months, the government assured us that Freedom Day, July 19th, would be the day when all coronavirus restrictions were lifted. So how free will we be? Despite vowing to lift all mask mandates, de facto mask mandates will remain in innumerable settings. Airports, planes, trains, crowded places and major events. Supermarkets like Sainsbury's will bark orders on signs and public address systems demanding the public continue to wear face coverings. Tesco will continue to man checkpoints points controlling the amount of people who can enter a shop. Some pubs are saying they will bar people from entry if they haven't had the vaccine. Continued use of the COVID track and trace app will be encouraged. Anywhere where people are quote, likely to be in close proximity to others outside their household. So that's everywhere then. The government is expected to mandate COVID passports for larger venues despite promising for months to scrap them completely. The number of foreign destinations that people can visit without having to quarantine on return is shrinking again, making into international travel near impossible, police will continue to visit people's homes to make sure they're self-isolating. If not, they face a 10 grand fine and up to 10 years in jail. Police in Manchester turned up in a riot van at 9pm to ensure a 12-year-old girl was home quarantining. She cowered behind her mother, who police refused to talk to, and feared that she'd be arrested. So in summary, mask mandates, curbs on travel, medical apartheid, Covid passports, checkpoints and police visits. Yeah, don't know about you, but I just feel so free. Freedom. To conform, freedom has been completely redefined to a freedom light version of the exact opposite. And we know what's gonna happen. All the confusion over mask mandates, social distancing, confrontations between the public and staffers will just be exploited to streamline the whole thing and reimpose all the restrictions. An inevitable rise in infections will be blamed on those who dared exercise their freedoms. They'll be vilified and scapegoated by the media. And how long before other Europeans countries follow the example of France, where the unvaccinated will be banned from shopping malls, pubs, cafes, restaurants, cinemas and public transport. A new report warns that influenza and RSV are set to surge due to a lack of immunity following repeated lockdowns. And what's the solution to that? More lockdowns. Feeling free yet? It's a joke. In a truly free society, freedom can't be dictated by the decree of governments or large corporations. It can only be exercised and maintained by people's personal behaviour. And after the government admitted weaponising behavioural psychology to terrorise the public into mass compliance, most of them are deathly afraid of freedom and will be for years to come. So forgive my cynicism when I say that July the 19th Freedom Day isn't freedom at all. It's merely a continuation of everything that went before. In our collective post-COVID dystopia, it's just another day.